talk about five undervalued cryptocurrency AI projects before they go 2000%. First one up is Near Protocol. Near Protocol is a layer one blockchain created as a community led uh, cloud computing platform. Uh, the blockchain solves one of the main limitations that have been bugging competing blockchains, the blockchain tri uh, trilemma. Near has high transaction speeds, high throughput, and over the top interoperability. The price of Near is trading at $5.08 at press time which is um, not near the $8.82 that it was in March. There's strong support level around $4 that's going to sustain some significant price action if uh, it happens. Now, over here, $221 million in trade volume and $5.8 billion market cap off of a 6.4 fully diluted, meaning that most of the tokens are now in uh, circulation. So um, I would be surprised if this, this is by the way this is one of the top ai projects so it is probably an easy 10 to 15 to 20x and 20x would be two thousand percent so uh there's a big strong possibility here that we're going to see a, a massive move coming from near protocol in the next couple of days weeks months the other one that is probably set for a big blast off is going to be render uh because guys if you remember render is partnered with nvidia and on the board of render jj abrams um, um there, there's a, a a list of famous studio executives that are sitting right now on the board at render making sure that render is in the public eye the render technology is useful for film tv production architecture automotive design game development vr and ai by utilizing idle gpus it offers a cost-effective scalable solution for high performance rendering tasks across multiple industries renders price right now is about 730 but it was 13 dollars in march when nvidia did its earnings report uh, we just got our second quarter earnings report in june so September, I think that by September, render is going to absolutely explode. A 20X for render from this point is going to be about $140. And it does not seem like render could not do that. Because if you just consider a 20X on render right now, that's only a $60 billion market cap for a project that is funding a lot of people in Hollywood right now. So 140 million in trading volume and a $3 billion market cap. Again, an easy 20 X from here, in my opinion. So if you haven't already uh, start looking for some render uh, and the volumes up 10% on the day, market cap only up 2.4%, probably looking for a breakout though. Um, again, I think that, that, that if there's a real breakout, no matter what I think right now, the big breakout in my opinion will come around September. And we get kind of a blow off. But by the way, that doesn't mean you wouldn't enter right now because there's going to be a FOMO buildup to that moment. At least I think there would be because, again, NVIDIA earnings have just been unbelievable at this point. So um, certainly go check that one out if you haven't already. The next one up on the list is going to be Injective Protocol. If you haven't already, Injective Protocol is probably one of those that you want to have on your radar. It's a decentralized layer two um, built on the Ethereum blockchain. It empowers users with unparalleled access to global markets while offering a trade, a seamless trading experience. Uh, the price of Injective is $23.52 uh, right now, it was at 51.56 back in March. So a lot of moves here. Uh, it, it could still dip, uh, by the way. Uh, the the support lies at about $16 and $7. So there there is a possibility that there could be some drawdown to it, a little bit more um, uh, of this uh, drawdown. But the injective protocol stands to benefit from the meme coin craze that usually comes during bull markets. However, the high gas fees on the network may predispose it to fierce competition from low fees like base. L2 and Solana L1. Now, Injective, by the way, 10 times less in fees than it was going into this. So I would say that that's not exactly accurate. Still higher than some of these other chains. However, it's still reduced significantly. And, and of course, so is Ethereum. So, um, you know, some of these things 
are going to be very interesting when they start to rip. And right now, uh, the volume up 28% on the day at 119 million, 2.2 billion market cap. Certainly could go to a $44 billion market cap, which would be about 20x from here, uh, leading it to what about a $400 injective token price? So uh, if you haven't already, you might want to look at injective as well. So uh, moving on to the next one, Theta Network. Now we talked about Theta Network before. This was one of them that I gave you a while back. I think it was in February and I said, it's probably due for a breakout and it did have a big time breakout, right? Uh, so uh, Theta started as a streaming service called Sliver TV. However, the substantial server infrastructure cost needed to run a streaming platform was choking them out of business. The developer decided to create a solution for content management and found a blockchain to be the best way of doing it, becoming the very first implementation of proof of stake. That is, subnet infrastructure is second to none, allowing secure scalability and interoperability between subchains. It's trading right now at $1.56, but it hit a high back in March of $3.48 which would indicate right now that there's a major amount of room for it to grow. Now, uh, with the next major support level around 95 cents, but here is, uh, here's the thing. Essentially, uh, Theta has bottomed out with such robust technology uh, and enterprise validators. People who are enterprise validators on the Theta network. And by the way, I did have a slide for that uh, Theta validators. I think I had one anyway, but when you see it, uh, you're gonna be like, oh my God, uh, because I, I, and maybe it escapes me right now, but uh, Google was one of them that works as a validator on the Theta blockchain right now. Uh, I, I wanna say Sony is part of it. Uh, yeah, S Google, Samsung, and Sony are all part of the Theta network. What do you think happens when Google, Samsung, and Sony's blockchain Theta starts to, to move. This next big move by Theta is probably going to be one of those that make your head go, whoa, that was a massive move. Now, trading at $1.64 right now, and the market cap, $1.64 billion, uh, $19 million in trading volume. So if you're looking for something undervalued, incredibly undervalued. Um, and John Doe says, DJT stock will moon tonight. Uh, and, and by the way, DJT stock, Jesus Christ, you, you couldn't have a worse stock. If you had uh, DJT in your portfolio right now, you are absolutely annihilated and wrecked. Donald Trump lost close to, uh, in, in, you know, I mean, he was given the tokens or he was given the, he was given the stock by that company. It was over 2.1 billion at one point, And it's now down, um, in the millions area, like the low hundred millions area, like it is sub it is unbelievably down right now. And it's not going to boom, by the way. Uh, John Doe, I, I don't think you're right about this. I think Joe Biden is going to be surprisingly robust tomorrow or tonight. And I think that it's going to suck. Now, look, the 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 Trump MAGA people, they're going to ignore the facts. And they're just going to go when anytime he gets one of them hot moments where they're like, oh, Joe Biden's an old guy or something like that. And they're going to run with that. They're going to be like, that's incredibly awesome. And then the rest of the world is going to be like, God damn it. Man, and crypto is going to be like, man, I sure hope Joe Biden uh, is, is positive on crypto. By the way, the latest poll from Fox News, Joe Biden's leading 50 to 48 after being down, uh, I want to say like 60 to 40, not that long ago. So the, the, the entire narrative behind this whole thing has changed. And I do hope that Trump is the one. But, I, you know, at this point, if Joe Biden's going to mass adopt cryptocurrency, I no longer care. Uh, my vote right now is still Donald Trump, and I don't really see it changing to Joe Biden. However, uh, if you're intellectually honest, if Joe Biden comes out here and crushes, and, and remember, this is the guy that went toe to toe with Donald Trump and beat uh, and won the election 81 million votes to 73 million. Um, it, it, I mean, you can cry all about the election was stolen and all of that kind of stupid shit, but that doesn't change the fact that he annihilated him. So, it's, you know, it, 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 uh, it, it, I got a, I got a bad feeling here that this is not going to end as well as I think. Now, here's the other part to it. Donald Trump always seems to come through. He always seems to find a way, right? So I hope so. I hope so. But I don't, you know, I, 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 I don't know. Uh, and um, Maddie B says, conspiracy, new world order, 
called to shut down all of crypto. No, they didn't. There's more mass adoption than we've ever seen before. It's continuing to happen. This is nonsense when you say stuff like this because it's not happening. In fact, more adoption is taking place in Europe. More adoption is taking place in China. More adoption is taking place in India, in Africa, in every continent, including the United States. In uh, less than 30 days, Ro Kahana and Mark Cuban are going to lead a roundtable discussion with Bitcoin and all the major cryptocurrency developers in the United States right now to talk about mass adoption of cryptocurrency going forward for this administration, not the Donald Trump administration. So what you're saying is not true. Um, you know what? That that might be. I hope so. I hope I hope that it explodes. Uh, and no, because they want to one world. Fuck. Okay. I mean, you're right. You know what? You're absolutely right. You're, you're absolutely right. That's why the BRICS is, that's why the BRICS dollar, the oil dollar is falling apart right now because they want one world currency. That's why the U.S. dollar is pumping right now because they want one world currency and they don't want it to be the U.S. dollar. Uh, that's why the euro is showing strong growth right now because they want one more. No, that makes sense. That's just a conspiracy that people randomly do. And by the way, uh, one world currency, what about XRP? What about Bitcoin? Uh, aren't we really out here doing that right now by creating a world currency called Bitcoin? It, it doesn't make any sense. Like your the argument has, makes no sense. So we're going to move on from that portion uh, to the next uh, to the next one here on this, um, and that's going to be the Akash network. Now we've never talked about the Akash network here, uh, but uh, apparently it's an open network that lets users buy and sell computing resources securely and efficiently. And this ranks number five on the list probably because it's lower value, thus might have more tremendous or potential upside. So the AKT token is used for participating in liquidity mining programs, buying cloud computing power and governance. The Akash GPU network powers AI apps like Stable Diffusion, becoming the first open source super cloud to host open source AI. Remember, Stable Diffusion is one of those AI protocols that allows you to make the, 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 the videos and, and, and the images that you're able to make out here right now. The AKT market price right now is $3.10. Um, market cap is $746 million. Uh, in March, it was $6.48. Uh, so this probably would be a $50 or $60 token going into the next bull run. Their support structure around $2.40 that may hold up the price. And by the way, when you start looking at all of this, they're all kind of moving lockstep and in unison. So if you decide that you want to get into these, I would venture to say, look, if you got $5,000, put $1,000 into each of them. If you're unsure about um, if you're unsure about it all, then I would say this: if you were going to not put a thousand in each one of them, if you were going to do something different, I would say it's my opinion. I would say put two thousand in render, um, and then put two thousand into something like either Akash or Theta. Most likely Theta, in my opinion, Theta, uh, and then put you know six hundred sixty-seven into each one of the other ones, six hundred and sixty-six <laughs> into the other ones, uh, and, and then let those kind of ride uh, and and see what happens there. You know what I mean? So I would put more into Render and probably Theta than the rest of them, but you know otherwise just throw a little bit into each one of them and see what happens. You know, put it into a wallet and, and just let it manifest, dog. So uh, check out the Akash Network. Um, trading at 770 million market cap, $44 million in volume. Uh, had a nice little sweep up here from a low today of $2.90 all the way up to $3.20. So had a pretty big move over the last little while. Now in the one month, it's still coming down from $5.17 as a high. Uh, on the one year, it was just up there in March. So all time, the all time high over here was $7.40. So probably going to have a breakout at some point. Cryptonomy.finance just had an update. They are now available in four different languages. In active development are a lot of cool different updates and information about partnerships from Cryptonomy that's going to be announced very, very soon. Now, to be part of that, follow them on Telegram at Cryptonomy underscore finance and on Twitter at Cryptonomy underscore 
phi. Now, what's going on with cryptonomy.finance is nothing short of incredible. My positions on this launch pad have been just outstanding. And my contract ends November 21 of 2024. And at this point, I think that that's not even going to be the max of the bull run. So if you will give me just a moment here, I'm going in, by the way, I've done very well on cryptonomy. I'm going to go with the silver level contract and end right here 19 june 2025 we're gonna go three bitcoin on this move all right so we've got a bronze that's been just absolutely killing the game guys i put in half a bitcoin uh previously if you remember that was thirty thousand dollar bitcoin at that point so you know we put in about fifteen thousand dollars my crude interest so far and, and by the way i do have this is a share because it's a 50 50 split but my cut of that eighty four thousand two hundred forty one dollars right now in bitcoin so this is an incredible rate of return so far for cryptonomy.finance so uh, do you want to be part of that sign up to cryptonomy.finance today